Hi there, I'm Kitty and I'm going to show you how to draw a Viking. So first up what you need is an A4 sized piece of paper, a pencil and a rubber. So to get started what we do is we draw an oval. This will be the head. And then we just bring a couple of lines down for the neck. And then we draw a bigger oval just underneath that for the chest area. These kind of guides to begin with so we can build up our Viking. And then another oval for torso. And then another oval just down there for the rest of the torso. And then we draw just another little bit of an oval there, sort of the top of the legs. And then we bring an oval down for one leg. And then another oval down for our other leg. And then just a slightly thinner oval down, then another thinner oval down like that, and then out the bottom, another oval, and another oval like that. And then for the shoulders, we draw a circle, and another circle there, and then an oval, just a kind of small oval, and these ones here, then for the elbow, another circle, another circle, and then into another oval like that. Another oval like that. And then at the bottom we draw a circle. And then another circle like that. And then we're just going to um, start putting in some of the, the building, well we've put in the kind of building shapes and now we're just going to start adding lines, uh, lines in on top of these ovals to construct our character. So just bringing in like a slightly diagonal line on each side, slightly angled line, like that to just kind of finish off that torso guide. And then we'll just go back to the head. So I'm going to take a line across, just slightly curved, and then up, and then up there. This is going to be the uh, start of our helmet for the Viking. And then just go a bit wider on that top of that oval there, like that. Then we come down again, slightly angled line. This is kind of the hair line. And then a little half circle for an ear, and then a half circle for an ear on that side. And then we're just going to go in and put in the eyes. So draw a line across 
like that and then down another line across like that and then down and just take another line up for an eyelid and again on the side for an eyelid and then we just take a slightly curved line up past that eye and then down again into a slightly curved line there and then like a little half circle there and a little half circle there to form the nose And then again, another little line down that side of that nose. And then we're going to draw a half circle there for the eye into another half circle for the pupil. Just leaving a little white spot there for a reflection on the eye, which just adds a bit more character. And again here, half circle and then another half circle and like that. So take that line up a bit further and then just kind of really like kind of make a zigzaggy pattern. Zigzag there for the eyebrows and then again on the side just taking it across the top of that eye It's really zigzaggy. It's got really bushy eyebrows. Like that. I'm going to draw the lips. So just draw a slightly curved line there, up, and across like that, and then it's basically a oval underneath that lip, that top lip. We bring a curve line down like that and then another curve line down. And then from the nose, just gonna bring a line out and kind of just wave it like really rounded kind of wave shapes there for the mustache. Again, bring it down and then just wave it up like that for the mustache again, like that. Then, just from under just his helmet there, we just bring here down like that, and then again on the side like that, and then just from out under this ear, and take a curve line out, and then I'm just gonna really zigzag it again like little waves for the beard, just to give that beard some texture. And just bring it down to join like that. Just like that. And then we're going to bring that bit down behind the beard and go into a circle and into kind of like a leaf shape and this makes um, the plaits coming out from the rest of his hair and again on the side into a circle shape into more of a leaf shape like that We 
just going to add some detail to his helmet. So put a dot there, or a circle there and there, just to add like little bolt type things to his helmet. And of course some horns. Again, that's just kind of curved lines there, joining at the top and kind of rounding that top off. And then again on the side, just trying to copy that other side. I'm just going to get my rubber and just rub out um, some of these guidelines. So just do that top bit of the helmet and then the neck, just bottom of the face there. lines where I've accidentally rubbed them out. Here we go. Like that. Just a bit there. And for some detail on the plaits themselves, like just add like slightly curved lines, kind of crisscrossing. And it just gives that kind of indication that there's like plaited here, there, like that. And for some more detail on the helmet, it's going to take two lines up there, two lines up there. And I'm just going to do like a really kind of squiggly line like that. Then just double that line up and then again on the side just bring that squiggly line kind of reverse it down mirror mirror it like that and just adds a bit more texture to the helmet Then for the rest of his um, body and costume, we're going to do like, just kind of wave out, like do a really zigzaggy wave type texture down to about halfway on his torso and then come down from here and do the same. It's kind of like a, a fur type little jacket that he's wearing over top of his clothes so again just kind of wave it up just kind of gives the um, hint that it's you know that it's furry and made of hair just by adding those kind of zigzaggy lines wavy lines like that and then for the top itself we'll just add in a line and then crosses to make it look like it's been tied like that so it looks like kind of a canvasy shirt underneath his fur jacket there then we just bring down these sides like that into a belt so it kind of a big belt a line across and then back and then kind of just rounding it at the edges there and again on the side across and back and rounding it off there then for his arms 
Just use these guide shapes and then bring a line across the top of that circle down and around to the elbow and then down into the hand like that and again on the side take it across down around into the elbow and then down into the hand and then again here just like that and then for the bottom part of his costume let's bring the lines down from where that belt meets take kind of a triangle shape up and down and then another couple of triangles there just to give the impression that his shirt or tunic has been ripped like that because he's been in battle a lot here we go Then again, bring another line down, another line down, and then just again zigzag it across the bottom, like that. Then using those ovals underneath for the legs, we just run a line down like that on both both legs into slightly curved line for the boot, top of the boot, across the top like that and then again on this side. Then bring that line down there for the boot and then down here, across and then a line just to show where the foot bends and then we bring another line down underneath and up for the sole of the boot like that and again on the side bring that line down line down here then across and then around again at the bottom then bring another one down for the sole of the boot Let me just grab our rubbers again and just go back in and rub out these guidelines before we go in and put more detail onto our Viking. So just rubbing out all those ovals and shapes that we started with.
just go back in and just fix up some of those lines where we've accidentally just rubbed out the main bits of the illustration. Let's go back in and add some more detailing. So I'm just going to draw a line across there and then back under, kind of curve it at the ends and again here. Full cuffs that he's wearing. Again on the side. Like that. We take another line across to give it even more detail. Across again. Let's put a circle there. A circle there like a again like a bolt type thing. Just fix up that line as well. Come down. Then again here I just add some circles. To kind of give the impression that there's bolts and this belt like it's made of metal. So it kind of protects him, protects his tummy. Like that. Then for this part of his costume, I'm going to take some lines up to make them look like kind of ruffles, almost pleated, I guess, in the material, just to give that material some more texture. And then for his hands, kind of straighten it off there, straighten it off there across the bottom and bring it up into like a bit of a swirl like that and then we just take that down and it kind of gives it the closed fist kind of look get a little line there like that with his thumb again on the side so bring it down using that circle as a guide down again across the bottom and up into kind of like a swirly thing like that and then down into the thumb Cool. And now what we're going to do is just go back in and add a little bit of shading to kind of bring out, lift out our Viking. So first up, um, I'll just start with the top and start with the horns. So again, just doing our gradient shading where we're just pressing lightly to begin with. And just that little bit harder and kind of releasing the pressure as we get further up the horn. Like that. And again here, just lightly at first, lightly, lightly, and then just pressing it a little bit harder and lifting the pressure just softly as we move up the horn, just to give that gradient shade from dark to light, like that. And then for this part of his helmet, again, just really lightly at first, and then just push slightly harder on the pencil to give a bit more of a gradient happening again. Just like that, just across the air a little bit as well. And then with this bit, okay, just really softly, really softly this side, leaving a bit more of a highlight in the middle, 
darken that up a little bit at the top there, like that. Just by having done that light shade there, it just kind of gives that slightly rounded look and helps with that whole um, rounded band at the top of the, uh, the bottom of the Viking's helmet. Then underneath for the hair, just again, just starting light and then just pressing that a little bit darker just to show that that helmet is sitting on top of his head. Just press quite hard there and then release the pressure like that. Just give a little bit of shade across his face, so I'm just going to do a really soft shade on his nose that side and then just a bit of a soft shade down the nose this side and also just under his eye like that to make him kind of look a bit more battle weary I guess like that not pressing very hard at all just kind of building up the pencil by going over top And then just um, a little bit of light pencil there, down the side, like that. And then the ear, just a little bit there, and a little bit there. And then with this beard, you know, you can almost just kind of give it some, like, zigzaggy. texture like that, just really random, it just adds to that hair kind of look and it's quite a quick way of just giving something like a beard, just a bit of texture so it kind of stands out as being different from the rest of the surfaces. here just a little bit of a darker shade in there so that's sitting on top and again here just a little bit darker a little bit darker there like that and then just some lines to give some texture to that hair there a soft shade out here from the jacket bit and then just underneath that muscle as well just kind of curving it slightly at that shoulder joint and then slightly shading this bicep here and then darkening it up by pressing that a little bit harder and again on the side do a little bit of a shade behind that jacket and then kind of more of a circular shade up and then into that bicep and softly at first and then just darken it up the cuffs. Again, I'm just going to do this a really light shade on both sides. Just leave a little bit of light there like we did here so it makes it kind of look more me metal like, like metallic. Like that and then again on the side.
and then for the hands let's give it a bit of a shade there with that cuff sitting on top then going on the side almost like just a little bit of a line of shade and then just into the hand just to give that a bit of a texture like that one as well. Then on the shirt, again just softly shading underneath that jacket, kind of quite close in, again with the beard. stand out from the jacket and then the jacket to stand out from the shirt and then again here and a little bit darker as we're a bit closer in and then lightly shade out like that For the jacket itself, like a cool way of kind of doing fur stuff is just like really short kind of say dots but little lines. And it's like the beard, like you just make it really random. It just kind of gives the impression that this is a different texture to everything else. A nice quick way of doing it. I just want that jacket to look like it's a bit furry, a bit hairy, like it's like a bear skin or something that he's used to make the jacket with. Like that and then again on this side it's really short small lines that really random so you just place them wherever you feel that the jacket needs it really And again with his kind of metallic belt, I'm just going to just do a really soft shade across the middle and then just a little bit darker there at the side and then again the side. It just kind of gives that look of it being rounded and then just a little bit darker than there. just underneath we just do a little bit of a shade it's a bit darker there as so it gets closer to the belt and then just bring it down like that not too far like that and then so add a bit of a shade at the bottoms of these to make it look kind of like 
in at the bottom of this as well, we'll just do a slightly darker shade down quite light just to show this tunic so this shirt sitting on top of this other kind of ruffled piece of costume piece of clothing and again here just like that and then down into this bit few kind of shady lines down as well across those lines, the original lines. And then just under here as well, I'm just going to start softly first, just kind of build it up bit darker, so we're getting that nice gradient again just under there like that, and then again on the side again just make it darker closer to the top of that leg bit like that, and then I'll just take a bit of a shade down that side there and in this one And just across the top there and then into his boot. So again, it's down the back. Lightly at first and then slightly darker there. Again here. Lighter then slightly darker. A little bit of a shade across there. And then a little bit of a shade across there like that. And just go around the boot as well. side just around that boot so there you have it how to draw a viking hope you enjoyed doing that see you later